Hi, let's figure out how to come up with a value for the rate constant. So we're going to determine the value of the rate constant. We actually want a number. This is a very common outflow of the question. Hey, here is a set of data, determine the rate law. And then the second question is determine the rate constant and unit. Um, so if you haven't already watched the videos on how to determine the rate law, you can look at the math. There's a mathematical one or just by doing mental math, it's called by inspection. You can watch those two videos. Uh, we took this data and determined this is the rate law. Uh, so the rate law for this methyl acetate um, reacting with hydroxide looks like this. Rate equals the rate constant K times the concentration of methyl acetate to the first order um, times the concentration of hydroxide, which is also first order. It is an overall second order reaction. And we want to know what's the value of K and what's the unit. So this is easy. At this point, it is really easy. Here's what you do. Pick any one of the trials and you simply substitute in the numbers because you only have one unknown. Notice there's rate, concentration methyl acetate, concentration hydroxide. You've got your orders. The only unknown is K. Um, now the K value, the rate constant, will be the same for all the trials. So you can pick any trial and plug that in. Just out of habit, I usually pick the first trial. So let's take experiment one. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. We are going to have our rate is 0 0.00034 molarity per second equals K, there's my unknown, times the concentration of the methyl acetate, 0 0.05 raised to the first order, times concentration of hydroxide, 0 0.05 raised to the first order. Now those orders, treat them mathematically like exponents. So it would be 0 0.01 raised to the one is, or excuse me, 0 0.05 raised to the one is 0 0.05. 0.05 raised to the 1 is 0.05. So we've got 0.05 times 0.05. 0.1, 2, 3, uh, molarity per second equals. Now, those brackets, quick reminder. Remember, those brackets stand for molarity. So you have understood molarity and molarity right there, moles per liter. So I multiply those. We're going to get K times 0 0.0025 molarity squared, molarity squared. Molarity times molarity will give me molarity squared. Now if we divide both sides by 0 0.0025 molarity squared, 0 0.0025 molarity squared, sorry, don't need to put a line underneath that. Uh, when we divide this, we are going to get K equals 0.136. Now we've got to do the units. Let's look just at units. If I've got molarity per second divided by molarity squared, um, so I've got a fraction divided by, remember, this is understood to be a fraction, molarity squared over one. I'm going to take that bottom fraction, reciprocate it, and multiply. So when I flip that and multiply times one over molarity squared, there we go. Now, watch this. Molarity cancels one of those molarities, and that will give me one over molarity times second. So this unit, 0.136 molarity second, molarity times second. So that's your answer. Now, the number part of that I think is really easy. You just plug in all of the values from one uh, of the trials, plug that in, great. It's easy to get that number, 0.136. Sometimes the unit is a little tricky. Um, so watch, I have, um, done another video for you just on units for K. Super interesting. Um, looking at 20 years worth of FRQs from AP, every time that they asked for the value of K, every time except for one, except for one time in 20 years, they also asked for the unit on K and it was always worth one point. So totally worth your time. Figure out how to determine the units on K. Um, if you want, I go back and double check my units. So let's double check units here really quick. I'm just going to do the units for you. So rate was molarity per second equals, and then I came up with one over molarity times second. So remember, I'm just doing units times molarity times molarity, okay? So that's my rate, that's my K, concentration methyl acetate, concentration hydroxide. There's my units. Well, notice, Molarity cancels there and there. So when I go one times molarity, 
That's molarity. And I just have, have seconds on the bottom. Oh, it works. Molarity per second, molarity per second. So that is the correct unit right there. Okay, so again, pick any one of the trials, just plug it into the right law that you found, and you'll be able to determine both the value of K and the unit per K. Um, if you need to watch videos on how to find the right law, go to those, and then take some time to find, uh, watch the video on how to find the unit. Last thing, watch the video on when you have a change of concentration, how to find the new rate. That's the third question that will be asked on a test, okay? Have a good day. You're doing awesome. Thanks. Bye.